Well, good afternoon, guys. I am in Lamington National Park, top of Tulabalal, which I believe is around 950 meters up, or about close to 3,000 feet, which is notable for being the northernmost place you can find the Antarctic beech tree, or Nothophagus morii, which is growing all around us right here. That's what its bark looks like. That's what its leaves look like. All the name may imply it's related to the beech trees that you find in the northern hemisphere with members of the genus Phagus. It's actually part of the uh, family Nothophagaceae, which only has a genus Nothophagus in it. It's a really cool one because it's very indicative of the sort of Gondwana distribution of plants. In fact, it's almost the um, picture of that sort of distribution. It's found in southern South America, Australia, New Zealand, New Caledonia, and New Guinea. Not really in southern Africa at all, but that one isn't so important. It's what people call Gond Gondwana. And of course, it was found very commonly in Antarctica as recently as five million years ago when it was covered in trees. This little grove is notable for being reproduced. It reproduces clonally instead of by seeds for the most part. And this is really about the limits of where it can grow and compete because it refers to cooler temperatures, a little bit foggier and wetter where there is a higher incidence of fog and frost, which makes it harder for the more lowland subtropical rainforest plants to compete. There's a few other species we can find here additionally. There's either this prickly plant right here, or this guy, which is not prickly and looks less interesting. I wish we can find a better example of right here. But I believe it's called Petosporum aurelianum or O'Reilly's Petosporum, maybe it's, I don't know how you pronounce it, Petosporum, Pytosporum, I think, I'm sure some people will disagree with me, but you really don't need to pronounce scientific names a particular way, it doesn't matter that much. Wish I knew for sure which one it was, because it is only found around here in like Lamington National Park and the sort of Tweed Caldera region as it's called. And of course got some Asplenium ferns, which, although we don't have Rosori on them right now, this is definitely a splenium. Quite common all throughout rainforests of the world and even some more temperate regions. Lovely spot we got here, honestly, and it's finally getting a little more sunny, hopefully. It's about four different types of, or actually five different types of rainforests you can find in Lamington National Park, which there are the warm subtropical, the cool subtropical, the warm temperate, which actually has the same climate as the cool subtropical. The cool temperate, which we, I think, I think are technically in, even though, at least if you go by indicator species we're in. And the oddly named dry rainforest, which I may not be able to show you on this trip, but hopefully I can. Anyways, this is a really neat spot. Uh, if you go further south here, you can find Antarctic beach much more commonly in mountains, although it doesn't occur south of Barrington Tops National Park. So it's a really range restricted plant, only growing in a region of about uh, four degrees north and south. But I like it a lot. There's a two other beach species in uh, Australia, which I can't remember, seven beach species. Uh, one is found all throughout, it's further south, and like, uh, I think in Tasmania and Victoria, and one is kind of a small shrub found in Tasmania and Victoria as well.